Hello everybody, Lord for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new deck profile. This time around it is Galaxy Photon. So I've been meaning to get around to doing this deck uh, with the new stuff for a long while, but uh, I'm finally getting around to doing it. I've been, I think I've got a really good build so far. It's been working really well and I've been really having a lot of fun with this deck. And as you guys know, I love Galaxy Photon. It's one of my favorite decks out of Zexel. And the fact that Konami still gave it more support even though they kind of glazed over it with ciphers, and that was a bad idea, Konami, come on. Uh, but anyways, let's go on to the deck profile. Don't want to waste too many t too much time just talking. <laughs> First and foremost, I got three Galaxy Knight. So I know I've seen some people play two, but I really feel like three is a really good number, especially since you do have so many ways of getting this guy out. So he's a level eight, uh, 2800 attack, 29, uh, sorry, 2600 defense. And basically if you have a galaxy or photon on your field, you can normal summon him without tributing, but his attack becomes a thousand less. And then you can, whenever he's normal summoned uh, through that method, you can summon a galaxy as photon dragon from your graveyard in defense position. So obviously, he is a playmaker, and you do got to get Galaxy Eyes in the graveyard. That's super easy to do. It's super easy to get out dudes on the field without using your normal summon. So I really feel like that having three of them is pretty good. Not to mention you play three trade-ins, so it doesn't really make it too bad if you do dead draw them or draw into them too early. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ways of uh, getting them out on the field easy, Galaxy Soldier. Kind of goes without saying. Okay, Galaxy Soldier is a darn good card. Oftentimes splashed in other decks, like for instance Cyber Dragon and stuff, to make uh, uh, good old, uh, what's his name, Cyber Dragon Infinity pretty easy. But however, that's not his only use in this deck. So basically, you can discard a Light Monster, Special Summon him. Once per turn, when he's Special Summon, you can add a Galaxy Monster from your deck to your hand. Can be another copy of himself, but A, you get to add a Galaxy, and I believe it can also search Photon, right? Uh, nope, just Galaxy Monsters, but most of the monsters you play are Galaxy Monsters, so it kind of goes hand in hand, being able to just search out anything, uh, well, about half your deck, really, but most everything in your deck really is nice. Next up, we got Photon Thrasher times three. Thrasher is really good for being a play enabler. He, alongside the other new card, make an easy rank four or link two without having to use your normal summon, which is just really great. Uh, he, basically, if you have no monsters on the field, you can just plop them on the field. And then speaking of, we got his buddy, Photon Vanisher, who's also level four, has 100 attack less than Vanisher, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, basically, he cannot be normal summoned. Uh, yeah, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand while you have a, while you have a monster of 2,000 more attacking on your field. And uh, that's about all he really does. He basically, uh, oh yeah, discard a special summon, you can add a Galaxy as Photon Dragon from your deck to your hand. And uh, if he was exceed, if he's used as exceed material for a galaxy uh, monster, that monster basically gets the bonus effect of banish any monster destroyed uh, by battle of this card. Oh, it's any exceed monster. I thought it was just galaxy monsters. What am I talking about? <laughs> so yeah, he is a pretty nice card, being able to let you search out galaxy as photon dragon, and of course also giving your exceed monsters a bonus effect. But as you can probably tell, you don't really use the uh, third effect too often. You do use the search effect quite a bit. But honestly, you use them a lot of times alongside uh, Photon Thrasher to make an, a, a uh, link play. You do also sometimes use them for Xyz plays, obviously, but however, that's not as important. Next up, we got Triple Galaxy Wizard. I know I've seen kind of some people flip around between how many you want to play of him, but I really like three of them. He's a really good search card, being able to tribute himself from your field to search out any Galaxy uh, monster or heck, any Galaxy or Photon card, period. It doesn't have to be monsters. And then, of course, also, once per turn, you can double his level to level eight, so he makes really good Link Fodder. And those effects aren't... Uh, interchangeable like it's like oh you can pump his level up to eight use galaxy expedition then tribute him off for search really good card overall uh also it just dawned on me his search effect is not once per turn that is really silly so if you do have ways of getting multiple of them out you can of course cheese that as well so yeah and then we got two galaxy eyes felt on dragon yeah it's kind of funny that the card that the whole deck revolves around you only really need two of, because playing any more than two, you tend to brick with them, and that's unfortunate. Uh, this guy does have an effect, but don't bother, because really, honestly, he is a vanilla, just almost as much as Blue Eyes. Basically, if you have two monsters with 2,000 more attack on your field, you can tribute them, special summon him. Uh, that's kind of cool. The big thing, though, is, is that whenever he battles an opponent's monster as a quick effect, you can banish both him and your opponent's monster until the end of the battle phase, and then when he comes back, he gains attack equal to the number of Xyz materials dropped off by 
by your opponent's monster times 500. Uh, unfortunately, with the decline of Xyz, that doesn't really see too much uh, occur uh, occasion happen. I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know really how to phrase that really, but it doesn't happen often. Uh, but however, the really nice thing back in the day was that, oh, you could dodge battle traps, but unfortunately battle traps aren't used hardly ever anymore, so his effect is not really as usable. So it really does come down to like what you're doing against and really mainly what you're using him for is rank 8 uh, Xyz fodder. Speaking of rank 8 Xyz fodder, we got Galaxy Brave. This card is a godsend and I'm half tempted to play three of them because he's so good. Basically, if he's in your hand, you can reveal another Photon or Galaxy monster in your hand, special summon him and then he becomes that monster's level that you reveal. Additionally, whenever he's normal or special summoned, you can target a galaxy or photon monster in graveyard. His attack and defense become that monster's attack and defense. He's an overall really great card. He's an easy combo extender. Doesn't discard or anything, so he combos really well with Galaxy Soldier. You can like reveal Galaxy Soldier, special summon this guy, he becomes level 5. Galaxy Soldier effect, pitch another dude, special summon Galaxy Soldier effect to search out something. You don't have to search out another Galaxy Soldier then because, hey, you already have two level 5s, make your, uh, you know, your Nova and Infinity. So, yeah. <laughs> then we got two Galaxy Cleric. Cleric is really good. Uh, basically, whenever he's normal summoned, uh, or I believe special summoned, right? Uh, yeah, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target five Galaxy monsters. Uh, Galaxy or, yeah, Galaxy or Photon cards with different names in your graveyard, shuffle them back into deck, draw two. Really cool, and then if he's in your hand and you have a Galaxy on your field, you can attach them into his, to that monster's Xyz material. Pretty cool. Uh, both effects are like hard ones per turns, but oh well. Uh, really good card overall, though, for just recycling your deck and everything. And then finally, for the last monster, one Galaxy has Cloud Dragon, because this thing is adorable and lets you easily get out of Galaxy has Photon Dragon from your hand or graveyard. In addition to that, if it's in your graveyard and you have a Galaxy Xyz monster in the field, once per duel you can attach this little dude on that monster as Xyz material. Uh, now you might be wondering, oh, where's Photon Orbital or whatever the hell that thing is called? I've tested them. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> it is good, but I I feel like the deck has enough ways to search anyways and enough draw power to where you don't need Photon Orbital in the deck. Or at least I think that's his name. I can't remember. It, it's Galaxy or Photon Orbital. Can't remember, but it's the dude who searches by equipping onto a dude. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Moving on, we got Triple Galaxy Expedition. This is just your easiest way to cheese out monsters. If you have a level five or higher Galaxy monster out on the field, you can special summon another level five or higher Galaxy or Photon monster from your deck. And actually it also can summon Photons. Uh, it also can apply if there's a level five or higher Photon. Uh, it's just really good. It's once per turn, get a free monster, basically. Really like it. Next up, we got Triple Return of the Dragon Lords. Uh, partly to just to constantly revive our galaxy as Photon Dragon, but also since most of our extract is a dragon, uh, well, our dragons, I should say, uh, you can use its graveyard effect to protect your dragon exceeds monsters, which is really nice. Uh, triple uh, trade in, I mean, kind of goes hand in hand. Almost every a lot of this deck is, you know, level eights. Uh, double Photon Sanctuary. This card is really, really good. I'm kind of almost tempted to boost it up to three, but I don't know. I don't really want to clog up too much with it. So Photon Sanctuary basically says when you activate it, special summon two Photon tokens with 2k attack and zero defense. Uh, they cannot be used as Synchro Fodder, and you cannot summon anything for light monsters that turn. Uh, but basically, other than that, you're free to do whatever you want with the tokens. They can't attack either, so uh, basically it's a free link monster, like literally. And so you can instantly make the photon link and it's just really really good so yeah <laughs> Uh, one Galaxy Trance. This card is really good at times, but however, it's a bit situational and a bit uh, gimmicky, so I only really like it as a one of. It's just, it basically gets out two monsters and it costs 2,000 life points. It's it's a bit gimmicky and a bit situational, but I really do like it as that, like, oh, just in case card. Uh, so yeah. One Galaxy Zero, it's basically a monster reborn for galaxies, but uh, it, or photons, I should say, galaxies and photons, but it basically has heavy restrictions on the monster that you bring out, so I only really like it as a one of, uh, especially since monster reborn's in the deck, so yeah. <laughs> Rota, since a good chunk of the monsters are ro warriors, and then one rank up magic quick chaos so that we can make our rank up monster. There's one of them that I play, and he is a beast, so yeah. And then finally, two trap cards, uh, Tachyon Transmigration. This card, if only 
only there was a way to search it. <laughs> this card is a scary, scary, scary infinity barrier for the deck, where basically if you have a galaxy monster on your field and your opponent activates a card or effect, you can activate this card, negate that card and effect, and all cards previously in the chain owned by your opponent, negate them all and then shuffle them all back in the deck. This card is scary as hell because, oh, your opponent activates, uh, like let's say you're doing against, for instance, chain burn and they do their six combo chain thing. You activate this, negates everything, it all gets shuffled back in the deck. Uh, now granted, there's other applications obviously, and you know, at worst, it's a one for one, but you can potentially negate a lot more than that, and that is really cool as well. In addition, if you have uh, either one of the 107 monsters, so either regular 107 or Chaos 107 out on the field, you can activate this card from your hand. Really, really scary card, and just overall really great. Again, the only issue is that it's not searchable, so there's no easy way of getting it to your hand other than searching it through other cards uh, and digging through your deck so that you can hopefully draw into it eventually. <clears throat> now then, onto the extra deck. First and foremost, kind of goes without saying, we got triple of the Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. This is the link monster for the deck, and it's a really, really good one overall. Basically, he needs uh, two light monsters, including a monster of 2,000 or more attack power. Kind of goes with the whole 2,000 attack thing that um, Galaxy Photon has had for a long time. It has two really good arrows, obviously. And then basically, when he's linked, summon, you can target a Galaxy or Photon card uh, monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, and then during your first turn, once, oh, sorry, uh, during your opponent's main phase, I always get it mixed up, I think it's like during your turn, but no, it's during your opponent's main phase, when, uh, you, as a quick effect, you can discard one galaxy and one photon monster to destroy one face up monster your opponent controls that was special summon, but if you discard galaxy as photon dragon, you don't have to discard two cards, because galaxy as photon dragon counts as both, so, really nice, good card overall. Of course, one that he had like some other effect. Uh, no, it just destroys a special summon monster, but nope, that's it. So then, moving on to DXCs, we got two, number 62, Galaxy S Prime, Photon Dragon. Amazingly powerful card, can end the game in one attack. Uh, basically, if he attacks, or sorry, battles in general, you can detach six seize material from him, and then he gains attack equal to the combined ranks of all Xyz monsters on the field times 200 by himself. That's 1600 damage uh, in addition, so he's 5600. He also has a revival effect that rarely ever comes up. And in addition to that, unfortunately, he does have one restriction where if he does not have Galaxy S Photon Dragon attached to him as Xyz material, any damage he does is halved, but that doesn't really happen too often. And then moving on, we got one Star uh, Starly's Photon uh, Blast Dragon. He's just kind of okay, he's kind of hard to make, and his effect isn't really particularly amazing one way or another, but he is kind of handy for certain situations. So I play one, uh, one Cyber Dragon Nova, one Cyber Dragon Infinity, uh, one number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. I really like this guy as a one of, kind of been tempted to boost him up to a two of, but oh uh, well, I kind of prefer him at more as a one of, just so I have more options in the extra deck though. Uh, basically, if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can detach Xyz material from him, uh, negate that effect, and then if you detach the galaxy or photon card, you can destroy that card. And then also, uh, once per turn in your opponent's main phase, you can take one galaxy, uh, or sorry, I believe it's during your opponent's turn in general. Uh, yeah, it's during your opponent's uh, turn, quick effect, you can target, you can take one, get photon or galaxy card from your deck, and either add it to your hand or attach it to discarded Xyz material. And in addition to that, if he has a photon card as material, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it's got beefy stats, a really good negation effect, a really good search effect that can also give him more materials, and also can't be destroyed by card effects while he has a photon card attached to him as Xyz material. Which makes him a really good combo alongside uh, number 38, Hope, Ta Hope Harbinger Dragon Titanic Galaxy. Uh, if you get both of these guys out, especially in like one turn, you basically kind of win unless your opponent has just a lot of ways to play through your stuff, because you can negate spells with this guy, he can negate monsters with this guy, he can redirect attacks to him, and then he can make it to where he's indestructible by card effects. So you can kind of see where they all just kind of work together. Uh, I think my best board was I made both of these guys alongside Infinity, so that was just mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really good cards overall. <clears throat> uh, number, uh, sorry, not number, Divine Dragon uh, Knight Harbin, uh, Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand, their names are all blended together. This card's really good, he can negate stuff and make himself immune. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Hope Dragon Titanic Galaxy is technically a Galaxy card, so if you do have them out, you can normal summon uh, Galaxy Knight for free, so that's kinda cool as well. 
Uh, one galaxy has cypher dragons, just for being able to take control of my opponent's stuff and go for game and all that. Uh, one galaxy has a uh, former photon dragon for being able to pop. One number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Really, really good card, can just end the game by himself as well. But for the most part, when you make him, you either have Tachyon Transmigration in your hand, or you're using him to make his Chaos Form, number C107, Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon, who is a scary as hell boss monster who can negate all other card effects on the field and tribute two monsters to be able to attack three times. Very, very powerful card, very, very scary Xyz monster who can win the duel in a single turn. So, yeah, <laughs> really good card overall. Uh, I know in past builds I used to play uh, Neo Galaxy as Photon Dragon, but seeing as how the decline of Xyz monsters have gotten so bad, I've completely dropped him. So, yeah, there's no reason to play the original Neo Galaxy as anymore, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, so that is the deck profile. What do you guys think of Galaxy Photons? Do you think the, that they need a bit more support? What do you guys think they do need if you do? Uh, personally, I think they could use some more stuff here and there. I don't really know what they could use at the moment. Uh, maybe something to tie the deck together a bit more, but I feel like they already got that. It's just a matter of, I think they'd need a Galaxy as Photon Dragon reprint, um, not reprint, retrain in all honesty, but that's just my opinion. So what are your guys' thoughts and opinions on this deck? Thank you for watching. Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And see you all later. Peace out. Goodbye.